Welcome to the Polaroid Q Plus, the POLCP, first image stabilization camera for the Cube Plus from Polaroid, a CNA marketing product made from a company known as Ammunition. Enjoy the unboxing full review of the Polaroid Q Plus. The Cube Plus, well known as the POLCP. The Polaroid Q Plus. Wi-Fi enabled, the USB charging cable, let's see you be you, and a quick guide. If you were to guide in the earlier model, you would get the waterproof housing, a free SD card, a bumper case that goes around your neck, and the pendant clip. On with the review. One of the mods you can make out there yourself. 20 cent washer from a tripod, attach your camera up there, and go out and capture the moment. Let's get this review going and show you enjoying the camera on a cruise. But, 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 like any, any other shot, any other shot, other shot, but before any review can get going, Hey, gotta go get my cube. There's some things you need to know. Not everything is magnet. And it won't stick. But sound is the most important part. The most important part of this video review is the quality of the camera and its firmware. A perfect test at 30 paces, perfect spot. 30 pace sound check, check one. Long press to get the camera on, six seconds. Double press to start the camera, single press for the session. Hand clap. Four, six, eight, ten feet. This is a test. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. A excellent test indeed. Traffic noise to the left. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. You can't hear me now. Talking in this nice natural voice. voice. I will have to raise my voice higher. And that will confirm the test for any particular camera. Sony. Session Q Plus. Oh, yeah. Let me check myself out. Yeah, it's not like any other camera. And you have to understand that. Uh, Got to be careful what you do and make your decisions. Polaroid sent out new firmware. Very important to make sure your sound is there. We're all set up, ready to go. On to our next test. What was that test? Oh, did you notice? I walked with two different cameras. Image stabilization by digitalization. Ah, the sun's in my eyes. Ah, much better indeed, getting a better shot, all different angles, all different aspects of the camera, time lapse, slow motion, sound check, you could not ask for anything more than that. I'm just torn between the two cams. The Polaroid Q Plus. Beautiful camera indeed. 
Wi-Fi enabled with its features and functions adding on to the app as we go yet simple to find things where they're at and having to know if everything is up to par some issues still needs to be improved and it won't be on generation 2 of the cube the choice is up to you what you like and yet have I gone on my dinner cruise I'm not going to let this stop me. On we're going to go, just to name a few things I don't like right off the bat. The sun is beaming in my eyes, and I can't see a thing. LED, very hard to see. You always got to look on top of the camera, and it's something with the session you don't have to do. Very bright, very large LED. Sound, you don't have to worry about with the GoPro session on the front. The back uh, is too noisy, the front will always stay on. But if the front is too noisy, the back is going to kick in. It's time to almost wrap this review up, and I uh, do apologize if I don't continue on. I have a lot of likes and a lot of dislikes. And right now, Oh man, the sun is beaming on me. What's well, a perfect shot right here just to get that one last comparison test in. You decide which is the better cam, the Polaroid. Just to get that one last comparison test in. You decide which is the better cam, the Polaroid or the GoPro. We are now going to talk all about the likes and dislikes of the Polaroid. And please forgive me, there's way, way too much information out there to try to remember everything. But I don't want to make this a long and extensive review. I haven't even yet promised you guys that dinner cruise or even my onboard live review. I'm shaking. Oh, yes, indeed. I do apologize about that. Trying to get my cameras in the pocket. Where were we? Dislike. The LED. Cannot see it at all while recording. Daylight. Anytime I use the camera. Only time I can see it at nighttime. Does it do anything right? Not at all. Maybe it tells you it's on and green and red for recording, flashes orange. Not sure what it does when you hook it up to the PC if it's charging. Don't like that system. Inconsistent. Video quality. Excellent. Almost like Kodachrome. Is it good like the GoPro? You choose. I'm not going to make that decision. Video quality for editing. Difficult. Not easy to do in editors. Your computer, laptop, pad, whatever you use, you're going to have difficulty. You're not going to have sound at the beginning if you're playing with QuickTime and you are insistent to load up the latest codex players use VLC. Not happy. Jazz Elite HD 168, very difficult, but low for the PC CPU. Easiest camera to use, difficult software uh, container formats to use for the camera. Sound, definitely an issue. Feedback, white noise, you name it, it's still present, beefed up, the decibels raised. Not good. Firmware update. CNA Marketing released firmware twice. I cannot find the firmware at all. PKAMOV.com for Droid, I believe, not for the uh, Apple. At Polaroid Cube. It is gone. 
nowhere on the support page at all. How are you supposed to load firmware? November 29th, December 2nd, December 9th. Those are the three firmware updates. There is another firmware coming out in the near future, very soon, to fix the sound issue. Is this the same exact firmware or to add single shot for time lapse, single shot for slow motion, and 10 burst shots up to one second? Those I am overlooking in the app and cannot find it. The file system pretty good, very easy, MN001, I'm not 100% sure, mixing up my cameras. Photos are in a separate area, 4 by 3 aspect ratio, no complaints. Wish it was controlled to change the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I wish you had the ability to save a 1980 by 1080 or the actual photo, a choice. I have a lot more to say. I hope uh, I don't let this discourage you from making your choice, which is the best camera to purchase on the market. But if you want to do a stare and compare, the GoPro Hero 4 Session to date was $159 Cyber Week of 2015, late November. The sale price is $199 to date, very difficult to order online at GoPro.com. They are overwhelmed with orders. Amazon.com has the same exact sale with a excellent bundles starter kit. 32 gig SDXC card and gives you a head mount. While Polaroid was offering a waterproof case only, not the mount, an 8 gig SD card and a bumper case. With Polaroid handling my order and return my camera October 15, 2015, received December 10th evening, I made a very quick decision to return my camera. When I received my camera, a missing bumper case, my SD card left in the camera with Polaroid's testing file, customer's file of customer service doing a test. I wish I could show you the video, but I can put the audio up with the photo and you make that decision exactly if you like or dislike how the service was presented. They did an excellent job in handling the camera, but to fix the issue, they passed it on. It is your decision for $150 today to make that purchase. If sound is not a problem for you, then you'll have an easy decision. This is all vlogged with the Polaroid Q Plus, showing you how excellent the camera is and working. But yet, have you seen any evening shots? my dinner cruise, or my actual cruise. It will be posted right now of the dinner cruise, but the actual cruise is going to be live on board, and the GoPro will probably be my camera of choice to shoot videos, and the Polaroid may be on its way back. I will make that decision. I am strong to send it back, but I still have hope that this camera will do fine through this video review.
please take the time to go down below. Feedback, very important to get that firmware corrected. Three chances the firmware was made due to the fact that some people are stepping forward. The more you step forward, the less stepping backwards we have to do. Thank you very much for viewing and enjoy the rest of the video. Have a great day. Thank you very much. I'm Fish with the Polaroid Q Plus POLCP latest and greatest firmware on the market soon to be here. Have a great day and enjoy. Oh, one of the tests I couldn't do before was a car test roughly around four feet from me and sure enough the phone test back at a house. One of the things I like about the camera is that you can plug in a power source and have the camera run unlimited time with video recording and taking photos.